So I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across a JRPG game that looked actually pretty good that was on Kickstarter. So apparently the JRPG is the game is based in the Mediterranean so it's showing a Mediterranean based story. But I want to actually do a little deep dive on this Mediterranean RPG called Alzara Radiant Echoes. So over on Kickstarter they're saying that we're trying to bring peace to the world on the brink of war by working together through elements the power of the elements in this 3d turn-based jrpg so what we're gonna do is hop into the trailer see what you know what they cooked up for us and it will explain what exactly some of the goals and some of the actual overall features that is based inside of this game knowing right now that this game has already received 2696 backers with a goal of $108,063 and they have already gone well past that about 30 40,000 more at 161,734 so it's definitely being funded and it's ready to go so I definitely can't wait to see where this <laughs> where this game goes so let's hop into the trailer and see what they got for us So music is by Motoy Sakuraba. So we're going to actually go into a little bit of a deep dive into who this is. And I love that these JRPGs are getting like renowned legends in the uh, JRPG soundtrack space. Like I remember when it came to Sea of Stars, I cannot remember uh, what his name was. I'll probably have to read, like double check. But he was a legend who worked on Chrono, I think it was Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger, he worked on the music for Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger. I can't remember one of the two, it's been a minute, but like these absolute legends. So let's continue. So far, the color scheme itself looks great. I think it's like this cell shaded, not even like it seems cell shaded, but like that. It's like a different type of like cartoon aesthetic. I can't think of the name for it. Halo Scarrows, Adil, I guess. Okay. I like the designs as well. Ooh, okay. Let's stop it here. So, team of four, you got all of, you know, your attack, your summons, your spells and items on the far left. The, you can see the overall turn order as well. And the top hand of the, uh, top, uh, top of the screen. And of course, you got the enemies and their positions. It seems like you can also do tactical strategic uh, positioning as well. As I could see, like the two main characters are in the front. You got the other two guarding the rear guard. And then if you look at the enemies, it seems like they're all in one column. So it may, you know, have a little bit of strategy, you know, esque to the overall positioning. Ooh. Spells. Little and little like cutscenes and spells. I like that. Oh, it looks like a all. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, that's awesome. What? Alzara, you can also wish this is on Steam as well. Alzara, the Radiant Echoes. So let's head on down. Let's actually see what we're working with here. Let's let's jump right into the meat and potatoes. So Alzara Radiant Echoes is a turn-based JRPG that draws inspiration from Golden Sun and Final Fantasy X. Two banger JRPGs as well. Uh, it is set in a, a world where the four elements intertwines with camaraderie and unity. And you basically embark on a journey alongside Kayla and the all of her allies. Together, they will elemental magic. Okay. So we can harness elements. So they can use elemental magic. And so I didn't really explain too much about that. But I can already see along with like some of the attacks that they were doing that each one of them have a specific elemental affinity to themselves. Of course, as we've seen, it's turn based as well. So you can pretty much, you know, back and forth. There is a turn order. Uh, there is a story, so they said it's a mature, relatable story. So your quest in this adventure is to restore peace to the vibrant world of Zara, where the mysterious elemental entities known as Zao's answer to humans' prayers. To achieve this, you'll lead the resistance against the merciless invasion orchestrated by the neighboring nation of Adores. 
So I like that. So I want to see where they will actually be going further with that story and what type of theme or what type of topic that they're trying to gather or get across inside of this game. Just by seeing that it's a mature relatable story, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something that will all can overall, you know, in the saying relate to. So I actually want to see where they go, go for with the theme of the game. So we do have a collab with Japanese artists. So this is where I was talking about earlier when it came to like Sea of Stars. I uh, cannot remember his name, but the composer for uh, Chrono Trigger. So we have Matoi Sakuroba, which celebrated for his contributions to iconic titles like Golden Sun and Dark Souls. Whoa, didn't know that. So that's uh, that he a G right there on God. Uh, then you can join us along the main character designer, which is Yoshiro Ambe. He's recognized for his remarkable work on games such as Trials of Mana and Genshin Impact. I knew like the 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 style. I said it earlier. Like the style has something to it, like this cartoonish type of way and i couldn't think of like that art style but seeing the genshin and the trials of mana that actually makes a lot of sense so they're saying that they want to have a release of this game in 2026 so two years out so whew, i want to i'm gonna see how this how this goes like i would definitely be following this along that two-year journey so when it comes to platforms they're looking for everybody Steam and consoles as well. Uh, when they know that console players are huge JRPG enthusiasts, we would like to support as many platforms as we can in the future. Ex thanks to the extensive industry experience, they established solid uh, connections. Now, I'll actually talk about the connections, like the indie dev teams themselves, because they've worked on some of the, you, you know some of the games that you guys probably have already played. But we'll talk about that a little later. So they overall trying to get all the you know languages so they are a team primarily french speakers they have a profound understanding of the significance of experiencing games in one's native language particularly with the narrative driven realm of jrpgs to ensure an immersive cultural resonance experience they're collaborating with you know english partners german italian simplified chinese japanese traditional chinese brazilian portuguese spanish and of course french so far they have received a lot of rewards from some of the uh some of the journalists out there in the gaming world. So let's get to the overall like gameplay. This is something that we were already uh, talking about. So Alza Radiant Echoes, of course, is a turn-based JRPG like Golden Sun, Persona, Final Fantasy X, and Lost Odyssey. We took what we love from the best around those games and added our own touch to it with a key central theme, togetherness. Okay. Okay, let's let's see what that togetherness means. So of course we have our elemental affinity. There's fire, air, water, and earth. As just to explain what elemental affinities are in games like these or any like RPG based games, your affinity is stronger than the enemy's affinity. You deal more damage, you gain a buff, X, Y, and Z. But if your affinity is weaker to the enemy and they have a better affinity to you, then you receive debuff, you take more damage, so on and so forth. So they're also saying is the to add to add a little bit of like you know tang to the affinities. They're adding uh, there's weaknesses and strength against others. Each element has its own archetype. So if it is a fire affinity, you do pure offensive damage. Earth is defense. Water is all of your support, and air focuses on quick, multiple small hits. So air seems like more like the gas cannon of the four. Water, of course, is your healer. Your fire is just your pure DPS, and then your earth is your tanks. So they wanted to design a combat system that's easy to use but hard to master. Our heroes can combine their elements to create new magic that will help defeat even the most powerful enemies only by working together. <laughs> Hence, togetherness. I get it. I see what they mean. I see what they mean. So that's actually pretty cool. It adds a little bit of more strategy to how you go about your battles. So there is a swap system. Now, we did see this in a trailer, and I was like, was it an ultimate or was this something so apparently it's the swap system so one specific specificity holy crap i had a i had a stroke saying that and our zero's battle system is the hero's placement you can choose to set your characters on either the front line to execute offensive actions or the back line for healing support actions the front line consumes echo and the back line restores it which means that to replenish your echo you need to swap hence we can see the little gif here where i was like oh that's an ult and then she pops out an ult which was crazy but let's see let's understand what that means so the swap mechanic is at the core of the battle system making it a deeply strategic tool 
Swap has many advantages, and if you use it wisely, you'll be able to unleash devastating attack attacks against your enemies. So swap allows you to manage your echo level. When your frontline hero's echo is too low, they must swap position with a backline hero, allowing them to regain that said echo. So I'm guessing echo is the mana of this game. Swap allows you to add six additional elements to your arsenal. You can swap between fire, air, thunder, earth, water to get plants, and there are even more to discover. So you can always have all these different affinities. So now we have, which was I thought was an alt. I hope it was an alt, but we have offerings and summoning. So sometimes your own power is not enough. And you may need the help of powerful legends in battle. So to summon these legends, you will need to make offering to these owls. Offerings are powerful incantations heroes can make to obtain favors in exchange that to be used carefully and strategically as offerings are a temporary stat sacrifice. Once a certain amount of favors has been stacked, the heroes can spend the group's favors to sum summon a powerful spirit into battle called a legend. This spirit will help execute a powerful move on your enemies whose strength depends on the number of favors you spent. Okay, so it has an interesting take on, the, on summoning, essentially. And you need to have like a balance between like favors and, you know, your stat sacrifice. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. So they really like, I can see the Final Fantasy and all the other games easily inside of that. Of course, all the enemies have their very own affinities to them. So of course, make sure your strategy tailors to uh, per fight. So this is where we get to the, some of the, some of the big docs. So Yoshiro Ambe is uh collaborating with the team so he's the renowned japanese illustrator so after working on trials and man and fire emblem heroes he is also known for his illustration work on genshin impact so that's a legend often it's often or all right so getting these legends in these indie games is honestly badass i love this so the main cast consists of four different characters each with their own backstory element archetype and synergies with other party members while you'll cover more about them so we have of course kayla skoros we have adil hugust and nakiel and the setting to put in the simplest thing the disappearance of magic from the world of zero one land keeps the secrets of the echo toxim driven by famine and lack of resources the neighboring nation of vidoras take advantage of its internal political tensions to invade the home of the toxins and claim their goods for themselves so not bad so we have elemental puzzles so of course you have to swap in and out of different characters to, to couldn't actually do the puzzles in game so like you might have to swap to uh kayla to be able to cast fire to be able to open up that door so i could see it right there each dungeon has a lot of elemental puzzles of course we can explore all of alzara essentially so like i said earlier this is a game that is inspired or based in mediterranean cities and landscapes from the south of france where the studio is based to greece egypt and the rest of the mediterranean region the world is harmonious mosaic of civilizations and cultures and of course you can be able to sail with this boat which i i like you get that little bit of you know traveling so you get the world map you can just do pure exploration you able to explore a vast world map whose design is inspired by one of our favorites chrono cross on the world map no battles await only pure exploration guided by the rolling of the waves so they're saying that there's no random encounter. So that's pretty cool. And pretty much all of your traveling will be going to and from with the boat to each island. I love that watercolor as well. And Mas Key, hopefully I'm saying that right. He's based in Montpellier. And he also helped work on Chained Echoes, which is another great JRPG. So they got a lot of legends in this. So we can actually see like the different factions. So we have the Toxims, the Vidorians, and the Zows. Now, music... As I was saying, Matoy Sakuraba, a uh, Sakuraba, however you want to pronounce it, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so his has a blend of orchestral rock and electronic elements. Sakuraba's music has captivated audiences worldwide, earning him a revered status among gamers and music enthusiasts alike. So we actually have a song. I'm going to play it just a little bit. One thing why I always say soundtracks play a big part into how games uh, like JRPGs and how well they are 
that entire soundtrack that sound like the song that just played it literally gave me a vibe like i'm out of the waters and i'm out in the oceans i'm out at sea like i'm I'm an islander like it really gives me that vibe like i'm it puts me in that world essentially that's what i like about different like jrpgs and like the themes and the music that goes with it it really paints the game in a better picture or really can express it through the music so they are looking to do a physical a copy as well they're looking to do an official like vinyl soundtrack they got an art book they want to do figurines so they're really trying to get people like uh, you can get a dev t uh t-shirt and you can visit the team itself right now they're working on they already got the english voice acting what they're trying to work on they want to get matoy to be on the entire soundtrack so social goals they're really trying to get like everybody to follow them Next words to give uh, demo access, puns and jokes, avatars. Like they got a lot of stuff. So the team is based over in France. And, you know, we have a team of 17. So definitely an indie dev team overall. And this team is seasoned professionals. The studio is in its, you know, developmental stage, making community building paramount for the team. The campaign goes beyond mere funding. It is a rallying call to all the JRP at the end. Jalousias, who appreciate new experiences, who want to support us in the adventure. As every echoes is the testament to that untapped potential in the JRPG genre. They're trying to get a release for the year 2026, so two years out. And they have a lot of people who is helping, like, fund this project. So, who are, like, all of their backers. Like, Jesus. But they are 100% funded, though. So, that's definitely something that's great to see. Like, it's 161000 And, of course, they still got 20 more days to f- help continue further in this goal and bring this trip like we're getting the game like two years out it's definitely gonna be i can see this game on nintendo switch and you know playstation and console like that's these games are getting awesome i love seeing what these dev teams these indie dev teams are really bringing to the table and with you could tell this game really like people really love this game i'm actually liking it now i like the setting i like the the fact that there's literally so many people helping further the goal of this game Matoy Sakuraba and I think his name is Yoshi let me let me get that right let me get that right as well as Yoshido Ambe these two legends and of course everybody else who's just trying to help bring this game into the bring the vision into players hands I can't wait I wonder what you guys think about Alzara, is this something you guys are willing to check out or like help support? Definitely go ahead. The backing is still up. There's 20 more days to go. I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the episode today, definitely give it a like. Helps me out. Helps us out. Helps us build a community. And if you enjoy JRPGs and other RPG coverage as well, games, guides, reviews, then subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe. And it's been your host, KSDTV. Here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace.